0 to 1 integral of x into square root of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square dx. Now we can solve this problem by integration by parts, but you know that I like trigonometric substitution. So, we will go ahead with trigonometric substitution and see how we can solve this problem. For that, let us take x square equals to cos 2 theta. Now, if x square is cos 2 theta, then what will be our dx? Let us understand. For that, when you differentiate, we will get 2x dx equals to cos 2 theta derivative is minus 2 sin 2 theta d theta. Or can I say that x dx by cancelling 2 on both the sides, x dx equals to minus sin 2 theta d theta. Now, let us look at the boundaries x equals to 0 that means x square equals to 0 that means now cos 2 theta equals to 0 cos 2 theta equals to 0 cos 2 theta is cos 90 degrees 2 theta is pi by 2 theta is pi by 4 that is our lower boundary let us go to the next one x equals to 1 that means x square equals to 1 that means cos 2 theta equals to 1, cos 2 theta is cos 0, 2 theta is 0, that means theta equal to 0. So, the given integral when changed to theta will become 0 will become pi by 4 and 1 will become 0. x dx is minus sin 2 theta multiply with root of 1 minus x square that is root of 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by root of 1 plus cos 2 theta. When we go to the next step, we can write down minus pi by 4 to 0 sin 2 theta is minus 2 sin sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. So, I can take minus 2 out what we are left out is sin theta cos theta into square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta and 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta t theta. Let us simplify this 2 and 2 will cancel. Let us go to the next that is equals to minus 2 integral of pi by 4 to 0 we have sin theta cos theta and in brackets we have sin square theta by cos square theta which is equal to sin theta by cos theta into d theta. Now cos theta cos theta cancels it will become minus 2 pi by 4 to 0 sin square theta which we can write it as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta because sin square theta we do not have any standard integral. So, we are changing it as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. Now, 2 and 2 will cancel. What is left out is pi by 4 to 0 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta. Now, let us integrate that and apply the boundaries is equal to minus integral of 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to theta minus sin 2 theta by 2 and we have to substitute boundaries pi by 4 to 0. Let us simplify this. This is minus of first when we substitute 0 we will get 0 minus 0 then minus theta is pi by 4 minus sin 2 theta that is sin 2 into pi by 4 sin pi by 2 is 1 divided by 2. So, our answer is pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 or we can also write it as pi minus 2 divided by 4.